This is Michael Orl of MobileBurn.com and we're looking at the contacts and messaging features of the HTC Hero for Sprint. This is the HTC developed contact list. You can see there's kinetic scrolling. You can grab this little tab here and scroll through the letters to quickly get through long lists. If you take a look at the upper left hand corner here you'll see that this contact, another man, has a couple little features on his photo ID there. There's a four indicating there's um, some things going on there that we need to check out. And there's a little Facebook F in the bottom corner showing that that photo actually comes from a linked Facebook account. This text here underneath his name is also his latest Facebook update. Before we get into that, let's look at the tab controls on the contact app itself. You can pull up a list of favorite contacts that you access most frequently. You can also define what the default action is so you know maybe you email Frodo all the time but you're always calling Darth. You can define groups and then send out mass email messages to them. You can also get some updates for your own Facebook um, or Flickr account in terms of you know new friends and things that have updated things and of course call log. We're gonna go back into the contacts and look at this contact here and I'll show you the specifics. So here's the full contact record. If we bring up the menu, we can edit it. Get rid of the keyboard here for a second. Plenty of things you can set like custom ringtones, add them to groups, and then you can add additional items, you know, different addresses, uh, phone numbers, things like that. Cancel that save. The next tab shows messages that you've been sending. The one indicates that there's one unread message. You can tap on this here and we'll see the threaded SMS view. We go back, you can see there's a similar one next to this email message because this shows all the email messages that have been received from that person. Now, it's worth noting that it's only from the mail application. Uh, Gmail messages that are received from this contact won't show up here, which is a bit of a shortcoming but you can tap on the message and again read it in the email application just as if you would if you went from the main menu. This pane here is where you get some of your social networking features including updates to Facebook and new Flickr photos and the gallery pane here will show and give quick access to some of the actual Flickr photos. Facebook photo galleries also show up there. Last tab, of course, is the call history for that particular contact. Another feature I want to show you is that you can have contacts coming in from multiple systems. If we tap on the view item in the menu, you can see I've got Google contacts from my Gmail system. I've got 285 Microsoft Exchange contacts, and you can also have separate contacts stored within your phone. Right now I have Exchange contacts in there for purposes of the video, but you, know, you can toggle them on and off as you like. This is the HTC supplied mail application, and you can see it's quite nice looking. Again, you know, good finger scrolling. Right now I have it configured to work with a Microsoft Exchange account. And you can see there's folder support. Unfortunately, folders, um, when a new message comes into a folder, you won't automatically be notified of it. You have to manually sync a folder in order to see what's in it. A couple of different features. Uh, you'll see the tabs across the bottom. If we go back to the inbox folder, you can see how that works best. I can tap on this tab here and look at messages that have attachments. This one will show only flag messages. This throws everything into a conversation mode which is kinda cool. And you can see how many messages are in the conversations, similar to what Gmail does. So you can drop down here and see the messages in it. A 
I'll compose a new message by going to the menu and hitting the Compose button. Just start typing in the To field up here, highlighted in green border, and pick one of the contacts. See it show up right there. Tap in to get to the subject field and then into the main message and hopefully we can show you some of the predictive text features as well as auto corrections see this is a and I'm going to intentionally misspell test make it say T W S T and you can see test is highlighted in green so as soon as I put a period or anything it automatically takes that word this is the Gmail client, it's the same Gmail client you see on other Android devices. I'm going to tell it to show me just a particular type of message, just the starred messages, so I can find a couple things to demonstrate. You'll see it's the full conversation mode, just like you would see on the web based Gmail client. Here you can see we've got color text, bolds, italics, things like that. Take a look at some attachments. Preview the PDF file. Just a simple PDF file. There's also plenty of instant messaging support on the device. We're logged into AIM right now. There's also uh, MSN Live support, Yahoo, and of course Google Talk. Got a conversation going with one of our contacts right now. You can see it's a normal threaded view. You can type in, of course, with most aspects of the device, you can type in portrait and landscape modes. and we'll just send the message off. While we showed you the Twitter widget before, we didn't show you the HTC Peep Twitter client that the device comes with that it links to. You can see it's a full-blown Twitter client. There's tabs here for other views like mentions, uh, favorites. I'm not going to show you my direct messages of course. And you can add your own status messages right from the client. The HTC Hero for Sprint comes with visual voicemail support, but I've yet to get it to work properly. Uh, it fails to download every message I've tried, but just so you can see how theoretically works, you know, this is a welcome message that comes. It'll automatically play back on the phone so you don't have to dial in and listen to it. And of course, once you've listened to the message, you can simply delete it. So that's our look at the contacts, social networking, and messaging system on the HTC Hero for Sprint. Keep checking back for more parts of this video. For now, I'm Michael Oral for MobileVern.com.